Once again, thank you for joining us. Let's begin with our top story where Chief Justice Martha Kome on Monday held a meeting with the President William Bruto at State House Nairobi over corruption allegations raised against some judges by the head of state. In a statement shared to newsrooms hours after the meeting, the three arms of government promised to formulate strategies to deal with corruption in government within 30 days. This as Azimio leader Raila Odinga castigated the meeting, saying the judiciary is being held hostage by the executive. And as KTN's Emmanuel Tona reports, the government also promised to increase budgetary allocations to the judiciary to employ 36 more judges. So we'll be looking out for that dialogue. We have written, and I believe His Excellency is going to give us an appointment and we are ready to go anytime we are called. After days of heated debate on whether or not it was right for Chief Justice Martha Kome to have dialogue with President William Ruto over the allegations of corruption raised by President Ruto against some judges, finally the CJ and the President had a meeting Monday that sought to, among other things, put an end to the sustained attack on the judiciary by President Ruto. In a statement sent to newsrooms by the State House Monday, the executive, legislature and judiciary agreed to individually develop policies, guidelines, regulations and legislative proposals to achieve the objective of fighting corruption, improving service delivery and enhancing institutional accountability of all arms of government. The statement further adds that, quote, within 30 days, each arm of government will submit the proposals made to a forum of the National Council of the Administration of Justice, NCAJ, convened by her ladyship, the Chief Justice. The forum will provide a roadmap for the immediate, medium-term and long-term measures to be undertaken. The executive and the legislature also promised to support the judiciary's request for additional budgetary support to achieve, among other things, the recruitment of an additional 25 judges of the High Court and the recruitment of 11 new judges of the Court of Appeal. Resources will also be provided to conclude the vehicle leasing program to facilitate the judiciary's transport needs. The president had for over two weeks engaged in an all-out war against the judiciary, accusing some of the judges of corruption after they slammed brakes on some of his projects, such as the Housing Levy and the Social Health Insurance Act. <laughs> These threats and declarations are extremely serious and a monumental assault to the Constitution. It is also an assault to the rule of law. Some members of the Judicial Service Commission, including Attorney General Justin Muturi, Deputy CJ Philomena Mwilu, Speaker of the National Assembly Moses Wetangula, the CS for Internal Security Professor Kithure Kindiki, and the Chairperson of the Council of Governors Anwe Goro, were among the leaders who attended the meeting held in State House Nairobi. Already the Azimio Moja One Kenya leader, Raila Odinga, has called out the President and the CJ for convening the meeting that he terms illegal. If there's going to be a dialogue over issues of governance, the case must be, should be held in a neutral ground. But this means that the judiciary itself is being compromised by the executive. The judiciary is being held hostage by the executive. Emmanuel To, KT News, Nairobi. Now the foundation of uh, Azimio Laomoja remains unshaken.